Ibadan, one of the most populous and largest cities in Nigeria, witnessed another historic feat as the executive governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Jumobi, presented staff of office to 21 new kings on Sunday 27th of August 2017. On the 19th of May 2017, the executive governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Jumobi, set up a panel based on several requests received by the state government to review the chieftaincy title history of Ibado land. The panel submitted a report on the 18th of August 2017, recommending that nine high chiefs of the Ulubadan Council and 21 other local chiefs, known as Balas, should be elevated to the overship status in line with the government white paper. The coronation ceremony, which was held at the historic Makpohol Arcade, Ibado Oyo State Capital, was well attended by government officials and royal fathers. Among those who were present were the executive governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Ajumabi, and his wife, Chief Mrs. Florence Ajumabi, the deputy governor, Otuma Moses Alake Adeyemo, and his wife, the speaker of Oyo State House of Assembly, Comrade Michael Adeyemo, Oyo State APC Deputy Chairman, Alaji Isiaka Alimi, Oyo State Head of Service, Mr. Soji Eniade, and Chief of Staff to Governor Ajumabi, Dr. Badi Ojo. Other dignitaries present at the ceremony were former Chief Judge of Oyo State, retired Justice Nuruddin Adekola and his wife, Alaja Sekinot Adekola. The coronation ceremony started with opening prayers by the Chief Imam of Ibado, Sheikh Abdul Ghaniu Abubakiri Agbotomo KKK, Chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Pastor Benjamin Akomu, gave the Christian prayers. Oyo State Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftaincy Matters, Honorable Bimbo Kolade, gave the welcome address in it. In the address, he thanked the governor for making the day a reality while congratulating the new kings. What we are doing today is not the first area we are writing history in the issues that concern Obashi in Oyo State. About three weeks ago, I have the privilege of representing your Excellency in Adu Awaye, where a town that has lacked leadership in Obashi for the past 34 years, we are able to break the chains. Today, this is another chains breaking operation. Your Excellency, in your courage, and all that we have been doing today, the whole of the Bada, I am here to welcome you together with all the violence that you have been representing. The government proceeded to give his welcome remarks by thanking Ibadan people for the large turnout of those who witnessed the historic feat. The governor said the reason for this idea is to reposition the chieftain's structure of Ibadan and also to elevate the Ulubadan of Ibadan to the status of his imperial majesty. I stand before you today overwhelmed by a deep sense of history, a deep sense of culture, a deep sense of tradition. Today, the 27th of August, 2017, indeed marks a turning point in the history and cultural heritage of Ibadan. It is today that great sons and daughters of Ibadan have come together with a strong sense of patriotism, assembled in the historical, cultural, and symbolic core of Mako to elevate, to uplift, to transform, to reposition 
the Relative Crisis Institution of the Ghana. The governor also used the medium to clear the air about any dispute between him and the Olubadon Bibado land. His Imperial Majesty Oba Saliu Akomu Adetunji. Today, we are all gathered to witness the crowning ceremony, presentation of certificates, and staff of office to the high chiefs who, who are members of the Olubadon in Kansu and Tatin Bales in the Bado land who have been elevated to the position of others. This is an epoch-making event in the annals of history of the Bahama and a practical demonstration of our administration's commitment to the enhancement of dignity and honor of the chief currency institution in the Bahama and the real state in general. I wish to state categorically that we are not changing issue. We are not changing tradition. We are not changing the culture of the Bahama. Rather, we are elevating, we are consolidating with our traditional institutions. We are consolidating, we are elevating the exalted position of the global of the Bahama as the Imperial Majesty of the Bahama. We are elevating, we are consolidating, and we are promoting the Olubadon in Council. We are not only promoting the Olubadon in Council, we are promoting every traditional aspect of the Olubadon in Council. We are doing this. The Uruguay is now becoming the Imperial Majesty. The Uruguay in the Council are now our real partners as well. And the Chiefness Institution is being elevated. Please note, without altering or tinkering with the traditional succession the newly crowned others stepped out of the inner chambers after performing all the necessary traditional rites to receive their instruments of office from the executive governor of Oyo State, Senator Biola Jumabi, who took turns to present the staff and certificate of office to the newly crowned kings. <laughs> I'm 
The next set of kings who were presented with the instruments of office were the Royal Highnesses. At the end of the presentation exercise, the governor joined the newly crowned kings in a photo and video session as the ceremony was brought to an end. There's an acceptance speech by His Royal Majesty of our Senator Lekon Balogun, who spoke on behalf of all the new kings, thanked the governor for making it a point of duty to remember the newly crowned kings with the historic coronation ceremony. The new of us in the Badaland, I congratulate you. People of Badaland, I really and truly congratulate you. I'm happy I'm part of this history. This shows and confirms the dialectical nature of uh, our character of nature. Dialectics imply that things are inevitably going to change. Inevitably, things will change. We are changing a law of uh, 1957 today. 
is history making, epoch making, and I'm glad I'm part of it. I'm, uh, I'm glad on your behalf too that you're all part of it. The governor were most thankful to you. The governor were just say we're very grateful to you. What you're doing is to put Ibadan on the same footing as the bigger big towns in Nigeria. What we're witnessing today has been done in Lagos, Ogun, Abeokuta, Ejebode, and so on and so forth. It's done everywhere. Take it in. Oh no, we're just catching up with the history today. Some of the newly crowned kings in an interview with the BOS and Biscon television correspondent were overwhelmed with joy. They thanked the executive governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Jumobi, for keeping to his words. From Biscon Communications, we heartily congratulate Senator Abiola Jumobi and all the newly crowned kings of Ibado land on this historic coronation. <laughs> Yeah.